But first, Dragon Ball Z. If you've watched the show at all, you know that it doesn't matter what we say about the game. Unless we give it a 5 out of 5, the Dragon Ball fans will hate us. So here's a review of Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Years ago, a child of the monstrous Saiyan race was sent across the galaxy to Earth on a mission of destruction. It seemed like a couple of months ago when we last left Goku and little Goku. This green guy, and Potsy, Ralph Mouth, Richie, and the Fonz. Those were happy days. If you're not familiar with the Dragon Ball Z series, don't worry your pretty little head about it. Dragon Ball Z Saga moves you from stage to stage with slapped together montages from the cartoon series. With so much blonde hair and screaming, it's a lot like watching the Children of the Corn's home movies. Unlike the Bodokai series, Saga desperately tries to be the adventurous little brother by adding in similar elements and then falling flat on its face every step of the way. Capsules that let you design characters' abilities are back. This is only true if you take out the word design and insert something that means giving characters the most basic of moves, like throwing. Oh, I know. How about not sucking? From what little I know about Goku, you can fly through the sky, shoot fireballs out of your hands, but a simple slope can stop you dead in your tracks. I must have missed that Dragon Ball Z episode. Attack of the retarded level designers. Speaking of flying, previous games let you take your battle to the skies. Saga seems to think that six feet is perfectly fine. Reach! D damn you! For God's sake, you can beat the snot out of aliens, but reaching up a foot is too much. So just who is your biggest foe in this game? Is it this alien guy or this other alien guy? Try a static camera that screws with your locking system. Out of sight means out of range in this game. The floods of redundant enemies, however, don't seem to have that problem. Speaking of redundancy, let's talk about the characters. They're all the same. Goku plays like little Goku, who plays like evil Goku, who plays like mutant Goku. Even the bosses have the same moves. I must have forgotten to TiVo the episode where everyone learns the same moves. Cutting and pasting is fun. With everything wrong with this game, the chugging graphics, the occasional clipping, Dragon Ball Z Saga wouldn't make for a bad side game. But it's not. This is it. All of it. And there's a two-player option. Now you can make other people suffer the same way you have. After watching so many cutscenes, I decided to make my own. Upon my screen, it did appear. One of the worst of the year. A sequel will come, I do fear, and they call it Dragon Ball Z Saga. The cartoon story was a cheap device. The kiddie fans, they would entice. I would rather have head lice, and they call it Dragon Ball Z Saga. The level design was all poor. With the fighting, we wished for more. Two out of five was its miserable score, and they called it Dragon Ball Z Saga. Okay, we said it sucks. We're not gonna lie to you to avoid the poorly spelled hate mail. So bring it on, fanboys. Bring it on. And for the love of God, you spell check.